what's going on vinyl community welcome to another video with the record spinner in today's video i'm going to be talking about five indie artists that are worth listening to if you are a longtime viewer of this channel you all know that a large portion of my vinyl collection my music taste and what i talk about are bands from genres and subgenres of rock that are deemed as classic uh whether it's bands like the beatles kiss floyd sabbath anything of that sort but with that said, there are some relatively modern new artists that have the same amount of charisma, attraction, and appeal that the older bands that I love have. Uh, most of these bands do fall under the indie category, so these artists have developed success, uh, just not to the grand extremes of others that are relatively mainstream. So this video is an attempt to showcase some newer music and artists to a demographic that is appreciative of older music, like myself, and can find elements of this music that is reminiscent of older artists. So we're going to kick this list off with one of my favorite new artists that is continuing to dominate the indie rock scene and um, just an absolutely amazing musician. And that is Mr. Kurt Vile, who is a native of the Philadelphia area and has been active in music for at this point almost two decades um, after doing acoustic lo-fi material uh, when he got signed and also being a part of the band the war on drugs uh he fleshed out polished his sound up uh, along with his backing band on occasion which is called the violators um this is his latest album called bottle it in uh this is the split uh pink and purple pressing uh it's fantastic if you want to peel back on my channel and see the unboxing i did for this go ahead and do so but to a newcomer of kurt's music um an album that i would personally recommend which is also one of my how dare I say it, one of my favorite albums of all time is this album here. This is Smoke Ring for My Halo. Uh, this came out back in 2011. And when it uh, came to me digging deep into Kurt's catalog, uh, this was the album that pretty much resonated the most. Um, I adore this record very much. It just has this pleasing aesthetic mood to it. Um, very much acoustic. Um, I just love how all the songs have transitioned to each other. The flow is spot on. And also, I just absolutely love this album cover. It matches the music very, very well. Um, now, if I was to sell this to an old soul, I would say think of Neil Young meets John Prine meets Tom Petty with a hint of psychedelia. It's quite the eclectic cocktail of influences, but if you listen to it, you can essentially sense that. Now, up next is... Courtney Barnett, who was from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, she had played in various bands since the early 2010s until she broke out on her own with a string of EP starting back in 2012. And then she released her uh, full length uh, debut back in 2015. This is called Sometimes I Sit and Think and Sometimes I Just Sit. And then she followed that up um, in 2018 with her second full length album, uh, Tell Me How You Really Feel. Um, she delivers a very stream of consciousness approach to her lyrics and vocal delivery, uh, and her music does have a hard edge to it, but it is, um, very strong in terms of the melodies. And, um, this album here, um, her latest one, is just perfect and concise, and it kind of reminds me how albums were sort of brief back in the 70s. I say brief in the sense that they pretty much cut off all the dead weight and delivered the best of what an artist had in their repertoire, which is an art form that I think tends to be forgotten in this day and age, where now albums tend to exceed like the 40 minute length and can sometimes can be uh, filled with filler. This isn't necessarily all the time, but there's, there's those rare cases where Albums could be close to perfect if they maybe just eliminated a track or two. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the best way I can describe her work is Nirvana meets Bob Dylan. Two entirely different bands and artists, but uh, it's quite the eclectic uh, blend of influences when you listen to her. Now, considering that I just mentioned Kurt and Courtney, I should say that they did a collaboration album back in 2017 called a lot of sea lice um they do covers of each other's songs they co-wrote material together and they delivered material of their own um this album is up there with buckingham nicks in terms of great male and female rock collaborations and this is honestly probably one of the best rock albums to come out of uh 2017 and up next is a band called 
the Silver Sun pickups from Los Angeles. Uh, these guys have been at it since the early 2000s and have remained indie to this day. Uh, they were signed to uh, Danger Bird Records for a while, and then they essentially broke out and started their own label called New Machine Records. And so they're just putting out their own work under their own imprint. Um, a good starting point for these guys is their first album here, which is called Carnivos, which came out back in 2006. Uh, this is notable for featuring the song Lazy Eye, which appeared in the games Guitar Hero and Rock Band. And then there's also the song uh, Little Lovers So Polite, which was in the movie Jennifer's Body. And also the song Well Thought Out Twinkles is just a great al alternative indie rock anthem. Just absolutely fantastic. Um, I would say their sound incorporates elements of alternative rock and predominantly shoegaze with layered distorted guitars and just very dreary segments um, some of the more recent works incorporate more electronic elements uh, but to best describe it it's a cross between like Smashing Pumpkins and My Bloody Valentine and you can definitely sense the uh, Smashing Pumpkins uh, feel to these guys because the uh, lead vocalist and guitarist Brian Auger like when you hear him sing you would think that Billy Corrigan had started another band so definitely worth checking these guys out and then we have this band here. This is the Kaiser Chiefs from Leeds, England. Uh, these guys emerged in the mid-2000s as part of the sort of post-punk revival that was going on at the time, alongside bands such as Franz Ferdinand, Block Party, and The Killers. Um, their sound has elements of new wave and punk rock within their first two albums. Uh, this is their first one here. This is Employment. And then their second album is called... Uh, yours truly angry mob now this particular album includes their number one hit ruby uh which is the song that pretty much got me into these guys thanks guitar hero 3 for that and i remember i picked this album up during the summer of 2008 and i literally played this album to death that entire summer like that was the soundtrack of summer 2008 for me um, now, their sound has shifted as the years went on to feature more Brit pop and even electronic and synth pop elements, uh, perhaps due to the original drummer and primary songwriter Nick Hodgson's departure and the use of outside writers and producers. Uh, the notable post Nick Hodgson album is this one here. Uh, this is called Education, 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 and War, which came out back in 2014, which, in my opinion, brings elements from their early works, but yet uh, introduces a bit more of a commercial approach when it comes to their songwriting. Um, to sell it to an old soul, I would say think of Berlin period David Bowie uh, meets The Clash. And last but not least, uh, this is a very obscure artist that maybe those who are fans of Jack White and Third Man Records are aware of, but I think deserves more attention, is Miss Olivia Jean. Now, Olivia got her start at Third Man as a session player, being featured on many of uh, Third Man's 7-inch uh, releases, as well as Jack White. Uh, solo material as a session player and she also became the primary songwriter and lead vocalist for an all-female gothic garage band called the black bells which delivered just one album and a couple of singles uh, which is an absolute fun listen and when you listen to these guys you can definitely see jack white's like musical touch to it so after this album was done uh which was back i want to uh ah so this this was back done in um 2011 and 2014 she went completely solo and delivered her uh, first solo album this is called bathtub love killings um i fell in love with this album when it came out because at the time when this came out i was fully getting into vinyl collecting i was a huge third man fan at the time and i was just kind of out to get anything that was on the label and uh, this was one of the albums that kind of fell on my lap and i just listened to it regularly when it came out and um it's been a while since we've seen some new music from Olivia. Um, as of filming this, she just recently announced a new album called Night Owl, which is due to come out in the end of August. I'm not sure when this video will be up, so perhaps that album will be out by the time this, uh, this video is uploaded. But I'm very excited to uh, dig into her new work. Now, her solo material is a bit more tamed compared to her work in The Black Bells. It still kind of has that edge, but with more pop sensibilities. So with those examples alone shows that there are some great new artists out there that are dominating the current music scene. 
Now, honestly, all it takes is digging a little bit into the internet and seeking out those new bands that you wouldn't really uh, see pop up anywhere else. And when you do stumble across something that catches your ear, like let's say all the bands that I just mentioned, um, it's always good to have an open mind when it comes to approaching other artists that sound similar to what you stumble across, hence enriching your musical vocabulary. So there you go. Here's a question for you guys. What indie bands do you enjoy listening to? Uh, did this video perhaps persuade you to check out the bands that I discussed? Uh, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to know. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. And most importantly, keep the record spinning.